So uh, we'll go over this real quick. Uh, my Grendel, I got the SWFA scope on it. Um, using a standard mag, uh, Hogue grip on it, UTG butt stock, uh, tanker's brake on it. I got a one and eight twist fluted barrel from Classic Arms, Classic Firearms. Um, Daniel Defense uh, sling mounts and uh, Spikes Tactical Lower. I got the CMC trigger, two and a half pound, three pound pool. Hell, I don't remember. I think it's three. But anyway, regardless, it's sweet as hell. Um, got the nickel boron bolt in it. Uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. I mean, it's basically. Uh, uh, an arrow upper nothing real fancy um, but it has been shooting really well uh, I want to say the bipod is a uh, CV life matter of fact I know it's CV life so it's a CV life bipod $18 bipod whatever take my pistol off so I don't get it in the dirt um, right here was the hundred and something yard line so I'm going to back her up a little bit, make sure there's no snakes around. We're here in rattlesnake country here. And uh, get out of that soft shit I just stored, you know. Uh, the soft stuff I just stir up, so. Uh, let's see. We'll see how she does here with the... From the prone... Um, and that's probably a little better. And this is Hornady Black ELD pick up my brass <clears throat> one two three four five I think I'm missing one unless I counted wrong no, there she is We'll walk down. They look like they're all high and to the right. Um, that pretty good grouping, I think. We'll see. It might be one inch. I don't feel anything moving, but uh, I'm going to try it with my ammo and see. We do have a left to right crosswind that's uh, actually it's and it's it's probably about 10 mile an hour I'd say so uh, Now you got to remember I'm aiming from a lower spot, so it is probably going to hit a little higher. But uh, 
Eh, not too bad. Not the greatest. There's three there, and then. Wow, I ain't liking that, but. We'll see. These are my first three right here uh, out of that. And then these are my next three. I mean, that's not real good. Uh, we'll go back and I'll load up some of my match gray, see if it takes it in the magazine. We'll do one shot at a time just to verify. Um, pretty new to reloading, so the very first bullet that I ever reloaded uh, went in chamber. So I actually didn't pull it down in the press far enough. So uh, I didn't resize it the whole way down. Uh, probably like I should have. Uh, but anyway, you live and learn. Luckily I was okay. Um, and we'll see. Um, the last time I shot this stuff, it was a uh, it was sick, man. Uh, I didn't get it on video. I got a couple pictures of it, but the way those shot groups look, you wouldn't believe it anyway. So, um, but they were uh, they were all touching. I did three groups of three, and all three touched. And it was re really, really good. Um, but we're gonna try that right now. Um, hell, maybe I can see. Let you see the. Grendel camo paint job outside of that garage of mine. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, let me grab my loads. And we'll try it. Uh, I got one with a black ring around it. I'm going to try. Oh, they fell out. Okay, that's the J's. I've been writing down what they are, uh, so I actually know even if they fall out like this. Uh, I got J1 through 5, I got blank ones here, and there's the black with the rings through here. And uh, based on the markings, I kind of know which bullet was made first and second. Um, so, I'm going to try these three. And then, uh, we'll see. This is just a standard uh, P Mag uh, for 5.56. I got one. I'm loading with the Grendel here, so uh, haven't had a problem with that. It's just been uh, you can't load too many. I mean, you could probably do seven or eight, maybe. After that, they start kicking downward. You know what I mean? Because they don't have that curve that it would need. So, um, but this right here works for hunting for me. All right, that one chamber. That's good. All right, well, let's see what happens. Let me get comfy. I ain't real comfy. Got a little bit of tremble going on. Dude, that's an insane shot group. That home wasn't shit, man. That's where it's at, y'all. I mean, y'all go buy all, uh, nothing against Hornady, because I'm using the hell out of their brass, but, uh, that is just an amazing difference. Uh, you know, you've seen how those Hornady were all over the place. Wolf is all over the place. And if you got out there and you're, uh, I mean, honestly, before I started hand loading, I'd be trying to tweak my, my scope, you know? When I see shot groups that are that pitiful, and like I said, I am shaking a little bit. Um, I am shaking a little bit. I'm not doing the best shooting that I can do. But uh, I know the first two touched each other. The third one, I really couldn't tell so that kind of tells me it was either really really close or uh anyway 
we'll see but i'm sorry i got sidetracked thinking i heard a car come down the old hunting property road here uh i ain't changed nothing i've let this camera roll so i just want to let y'all see the difference but before i started hand loading myself i after i seen what i had just shot with wolf and hornady i'd have probably made some adjustments um and i reloaded my own i just took three shots y'all look at this right there there's one there and two there that's insane and i didn't make any changes i you know what i mean that's the difference uh you can't beat it i'm i probably ah uh, man i'd like to go up a couple of clicks maybe one uh, i'm using mill so i might go up one is at 100 yards but i am aiming from a lower vantage point um because the wood line we got there and we got to burn a big old hill on the other side of those woods um and i'm kind of downhill ah man should i leave it or not i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go over to the other side of the property i'm gonna reach this joker out there and see what she can do if she can do two three hundred yards shooting I, this is uh, about the farthest I've shot it. Uh, so, but that's on my own loads. And uh, it's funny because I ain't shooting no more of them because, until we get over yonder. You know, the, the uh, that's what's awesome about it. I mean, when you get out there and you made it do what it's doing. You know what I mean? Not only did you pull the trigger right, not only did you breathe right, um, not only was you controlling every aspect of it, you were also controlling the powder. It's almost like a top fuel dragster driver, you know what I mean? Or a funny car driver. Everybody else does all the work. He puts the fuel in it. He packs his chutes. And he's the one that takes it down the track. Because those are the most detrimental things. And I don't think anybody wants that in their own hands, you know what I mean? Have the blame. So they let him blame himself if something does go wrong. But... I guess it'd be the same aspect of something here went wrong, but uh, it hadn't, man. And it, this has been totally awesome. Uh, I've always liked shooting. I've loved it my whole life, ever since I was a little boy. But I built the rifle first of all. I built it on top of a freezer in my garage, um, and then um, I picked out the scopes. You know what I mean? I wanted to put on it. And then after all that, now I'm building my own ammo. Totally sick, man. That's insane. Um, so I'm going to put my pistol back on. Uh, put my bullets up. And uh, pick my rifle up out of dirt here. And... Uh, see what it can uh, do on the back power line back power line i should be able to get probably uh i should be able to get probably easy 300 400 yards i brought some steel plates they're red hopefully i can see them i may have to prop them up in the road bed um to uh hit it but you know that's fine i'll put something on them but uh Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Uh, I hope this convinces y'all to do your own reload, man. Uh, wicked example. Uh, but thank y'all for stopping by, checking out Swamp Bappy Outdoors. It means a lot. 